Nice 64 Morgan 4, 4 plus 4. Beautiful little car. Nice condition. Very nice condition. Asking 21.9. 21.9 making an offer? I have That's right. You got a movie star in your arms. Nice Morgan. Nice Morgan. Built the same way. Eh, 21.9. I'd say that's a good buy. Let's go for a little bit more power over here. We've got a TR8 convertible. These are pretty cool. The five speed because that's that's the way to go on these guys. That's the uh, BO215 engine converted over. Nice TR3 over there. All the Brits are right here. How much are they asking on this? Marked down to 17.9. I'd rather have the Morgan. Oh, I pulled back. Sorry, folks. TR3 asking 19.9. Again, I'd rather go with the Morgan. This is a sweet Jaguar Mark II. Interesting color. I like that kind of gold. Beige to a gold. Of course, the double overhead cam 6 with the twin SUs, the enamel exhaust, manifold, uh, exhaust manifolds. Just gorgeous. What I like about this car is the wire wheels and it's a manual transmission car. These really had a rock problem. Manual with overdrive. Nice. Needs a lot of food for the leather, but hey, not that expensive. These are actually used as police cars in Britain. Pretty cool, huh? On the other side, so we can keep shooting. It's got bubbling coming through. Yeah, this has this rot over there, right there. Rockers have been done. There's bubbling at the bottom of the doors. We're going to have to negotiate a little bit. They are asking 23.5. Little MG TD. You can never go wrong with a TD. They're so much fun. That's what they're asking. Nope. That's why Cubby last I didn't even think about that, you guys. <laughs> how, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right, how much are you asking on a TD? 18.5. Not bad. I've had it for six or eight years, which isn't a long time for me. Yeah. But if it goes, it's okay. It goes. It's a personal car, so it's a good good runner. Oh, yeah. The third owner. Except for in the uh, winter time. Exactly, it goes away for the winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, heaters were a suggestion and uh, weather protection is like, nah, non-existent. After you wreck the top, you still get wet. Unreal. Thank you. Oh, I welcome. like your little roller over here. That's cute. That's the uh, interior is all original in the back, the front cushion. Really? Wow. We believe the mileage is original. Uh huh. We were a little skeptical, and okay. Um, yeah. When the pan was dropped, though, all the still the markings were underneath from the factory. Perfect. So it's been gone through mechanically. And this car, a few years ago, drove uh, from Westchester, where it resided, mm -hmm. out to um, out to. Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh. And then from Pittsburgh, it drove up to Toronto for an old Rolls Royce owners club meet, and then drove back home without any issues. So it's. If you drive a Royce, it'll always go. They are, they're bulletproof. I love they're the Springfield cars. Yeah. This it's is a late delightful. ghost, a 26. It's, everybody uh, thinks it's a P1 at first. That's what I thought, just a quick glance. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah, 
I love American cars. I love this. This is gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, what do you ask, Honor? 145. Not bad. How are you? Who's the body we'll buy? It's a Brewster body, and then it's a Pickwick. Oh. Is the technical term division window limousine. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm out of Connecticut and Pennsylvania. Twin ignition. I like that. I don't market it as much, but I buy a lot of rum. Save a lot of stuff. Scrap. That's quite a deal he's got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I always tell everybody, Excuse me. I got some. Thank you. They were going to scrap for a lunch of the Budapest getting the body work done. They were going to scrap. They didn't need the property. That is pretty. You always have something interesting.